What's going on, folks? TJ Lowerman, aka That Sports Gamer, here with my buddy Snaggle J. Chris, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm excited. I'm fired up. We're back. I'm ready. I'm excited. This is the season opener of Bullpen Banter, season four, episode one. I've been doing this show for way too long, Chris. You're here. I don't even know how long have you been on the show. I, 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 if I'm not mistaken, I believe episode 23 was my first appearance on the show. I feel like you were a hot year two inclusion. Yeah, well, like, yeah, I was, I think it was like episode 23, 24, I made like a one-off appearance, and then a couple episodes later I came back, and then we kind of did the three-person thing for a little bit. And then we kind of went back to the U and I thing, and then we took our hiatus. So we, I feel like we just straight up like, stopped playing MLB. Yeah, I feel like I would have gotten like special guest credit for like three or four episodes. Then I probably would have been in like the regular pre roll as like a regular recurring guest. An and co is what you're saying. And, yeah, uh, basically at this point, I am and co. He, he's and co. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, bullpen banter back for another Ooh. year after. A tumultuous season three? I don't know what that word means, but it sounds like it would be accurate for uh, for uh, what happened. I mean, I wouldn't even call it tumultuous. We literally just gave up on the on the game. Yeah, gave <laughs> like, up on the game. It, Sadly, that led to giving up on the on bullpen banter as well. But yeah, I mean, uh, like oh, I think man. the last show was May or June. Yeah, yeah it, it ended rather relatively quickly. It was painful, uh, and I guess that kind of brings us into our first topic. Uh, bullpen banter is going to change up a little bit. Uh, in the past, bullpen banter had been a very MLB the show centric show. Uh, it's still going to be quite MLB the show centric. Uh, but after what happened last year, we definitely want to be focusing on uh, the wider range of baseball video games. Uh, whether that be out of the park baseball, which full disclosure, uh, I am the head of community for. Chris is the perfect team community manager for. Uh, so I guess technically take everything we say with a grain of salt because we work for a company that also makes a baseball video game, though they're on two different platforms and they're kind of completely different. Um, but we're also going to be talking about, you know, if if Chris has a great week of super mega baseball, uh, we're definitely going to talk about it here. Yeah. If, uh, if and when, uh, speaking of a topic we're going to be talking about later, uh, pro Baseball Spirits, the Konami game is coming back later this year. Uh, I believe April, uh, late April, it's going to be coming out. We're definitely going to be talking about that because I am super pumped for that. We may, we may even end up talking about RBI baseball. Who knows? I'm kind of interested. You know, maybe <laughs> we could. And I know this is not on. This is. I know this is not on the. And funny that that. Buck pops in the chat all of a sudden. Now, this is not on the show rundown, but but RBI did something extremely interesting that really caught my attention this week. They had a good cover athlete? No, they they sent out these packages to all these big streamers. Mm -hmm. Like, they're actually doing, like, content-level marketing all of a sudden. It's very interesting. Yeah, uh, it is extremely interesting. My last... Uh... My last experience with RBI Baseball was, hey, let me try out, I think it was 17 or 16, whichever was the last year they stopped making, they made mobile games, I think. I don't think uh, they 17, I think was the last one. Yeah, and then I played, I put that, I installed that on my phone, I paid the five ninety nine or whatever, uh, and it never actually launched. So I was like, we're out of here. Uh, yeah, I, full disclosure, I bought RBI Baseball on the Switch over the holidays. Because it was like three bucks. Did and you I'm launch? like, have you launched it? I played like I played probably half a dozen games. It is completely terrible. I mean, not terrible, but it's for, for on the Switch. It's fine. Let me ask you a question: Does it have batting gloves in it yet? Mm, it's, here's I the question: I don't even if, think I would have noticed. If I ask the question, "Are batting gloves in the game?" And is it's that, like a question? That's pretty much all you need to say. <laughs> I feel like that's that's really all we need to say. The, the thing is, <laughs> the best way, not to get completely sidetracked, but the best way to summarize it, it is a mobile game that they ported to the Switch. Mm -hmm. 
I that's that's what it feels like. It's you know what? If I'm rolling around somewhere with my Switch and I really need to play some baseball, I can load up, I could play a game. But it's essentially a mobile game that they ported to the Switch. I really wish they would just buy Metalhead Software, make oh. Super Mega Baseball, RBI based. Just call it RBI Baseball and be done with it. I kind of wish we would buy Metalhead Software. That'd be cool. But that's a different. That's a different conversation the that whole... we probably shouldn't have on air. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so pretty much any baseball video game, if you want to talk about it, there is, uh, I do want to kind of dip back into, like, some OG video games. I do know that there's a, I want to say there's, like, a Japanese Sega game with Ichiro on the cover. Don't ask. <laughs> I saw it randomly once, and I kind of want to check it out. Yeah, uh, I'll see, baffled. Uh, uh, baseball stars. Let's just, let's de dedicate an entire episode. I wish... It's not within arm's reach, but I do have baseball stars for the NES on a cartridge. I Instagrammed it like a month ago. Okay. Um, let's let's dedicate three episodes to that. Look, you got to keep the yeah. things you love close. I have three different editions of Pro Baseball Spirits within arm's reach at all times, just in case. See, my games are in the other other room. My game, they're like over there, hard to reach. Uh, but yeah, if we wanted to do that. If we wanted to talk about that, now we can. Now that yep. we're expanding bullpen banter to be more than just an MLB The Show focus show. Maybe yep. we're going to have a night where we're going to match up in Baseball Stars because I think there's emulators that you, let you play online. Yep. So we might have to check that out. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be doing a lot more stuff. Uh, as we said, uh, Chris and I are uh, part of the community team uh, for Out of the Park Baseball. We're not going to talk a ton about it here. Uh, obviously, because it's kind of like a little bit of a conflict of interest. But also, we talk a lot about out-of-the-park baseball uh, in other places, so we didn't feel like this is going to be yeah. a, a place where we're just going to rehash conversations that we've had other places uh, yeah. on Monday nights. Or I should say, currently on Monday nights, Chris does This Week in Perfect Team uh, over on twitch.tv slash OOTP Developments, if you want to check that out. Uh, I do my streams currently on Tuesday nights. Uh, we also do a podcast with Rich Richam called OTP Now, if you want to subscribe to that. There's a lot of us talking about out-of-the-park baseball. If you want to get that, we can get it. Um, we can get it other places. But uh, some stuff we will bring up, like if there's a patch with something cool that we think we really need to talk about, we'll definitely bring that up. If, uh, say, Chris drops a dope Ryan Klesko card this week, we'll probably talk about it. That happened. I think the biggest thing... Is is I think you and I want to avoid bullpen banter becoming a big out of the park baseball advertisement. Yeah, <laughs> because and, like, and I, it's, it's like you said, we, I mean, we market that game as our as a job. Mm -hmm. So I think this is kind of a safe space where we will talk about it. We'll cover the news. We'll we'll react critically to things that occur, mm -hmm. but we're going to stop short of it becoming a giant out of the park baseball advertisement right and there's going to be stuff that we talk about on those other shows that we just aren't going to want to talk about again yeah like we're going to we're, we'll, we'll talk about our perfect teams from time to time and mm. we'll talk about some cool things that are happening and we, we might have a really slow week in every other baseball game and we may have an episode that's 90 percent out of the park content it's mm -hmm. probably going to happen yeah but it's just i think we're, we want to avoid the appearance that this is like a sponsored sales pitch for for out of the park baseball yeah and and again so essentially knowing that we get paid to do that you know take everything else you want with a grain of salt but i feel like we try to be you know super open and honest with all of our opinions on these other games uh and also it's kind of weird when we give our opinions because we kind of know how games work now because of working there so we don't really get crazy angry when oh Sony did this stream and they didn't say this, this, and this. And it's like, well, we know they probably couldn't just say this, this, and this without actually yep. knowing what's going on or, you know, leaving themselves open to potential class action lawsuits and stuff. Uh, once you once you know what's behind the curtain, you know you know what's behind the curtain. Yeah. It's it's an interesting separate mindset to to look at, you know. And I mean, we've had that discussion before where you'll be doing an out of the park stream and you stop short of saying something because you know what the implications of saying something is. And obviously we're not going to say those things on this show either, but you never but know. It, we might do it. 
we we may we may drop some hot news. Boom! You want me to reveal all of next week's content right now on the first book? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm sorry. Man, you could you could drop a hint. I'm not gonna tell anybody. I don't even think. Uh, you know what? Let's not go down that road right now. I mean, you could just tell me what the topic is. I don't even know. What the topic uh, is. Next, it's community requested cards part three. Ugh, is it the card I requested? Uh, I mean, I don't know. They don't have names on them, but I'll tell you what. Some of the cards in Monday's content are like some of the some of the Monday cards are some of the more highly requested. And one of the cards is a huge, huge social media presence. I know. I, listen, Buck, trust okay. me, 85 John Tudor is on the list. Will, will any of the point. cards in the next one go on a specific team that I have? Uh, now you're testing my memory a little bit. Oh, you're killing me. Well, just give me a second. Now I we're talking about too much out of the park. Hurry up. I know. Figure it out. Uh, oh, already we've already we've, said, <laughs> we've reached our guys, prerequisites. Guys, uh, we're not we're not going to talk about out of the park baseball, but all we're going to talk about is yeah. out of the park baseball. Uh, but uh, yeah. The answer the answer to your question is, I believe, no. <sighs> Whack. Uh, but yeah, again with with this new format or not format, but just like change in whatever around it, we're going to talk about other stuff. But you know what? That means we can bring on. We can bring on guests to talk about just baseball stuff. Uh, I would like to... There are a couple of people that I've been talking to that I would like to try to get on the show. Uh, you know, not even, like, specifically about baseball video games, but just about baseball in general and life in baseball and stuff like that. So, uh, we've got some stuff we can talk about. Lots of stuff. It's going to be a great year. I'm hype. Chris, I assume you're hype? I am super mega hype. Like, I am, I'm really... I'm really glad that we're back doing this. I kind of thought, I had the impression, let's say in the fall, that bullpen banter was probably gone forever. Yeah. And, you know, we went the whole winter. We never talked about it. We, did, we, never we didn't even, like, think about it. Also, I think we were... I didn't put up the, like, last episode we did. I didn't archive it to YouTube for, like, months. <laughs> I think I put it up, like, well, two months after we recorded it. And, I mean, you know, like, the perfect team happened. And so, I mean, all of our extra time um you know was was spent on doing perfect team stuff i mean i haven't streamed on my personal channel since like early december yeah. which is a well which is a well publicized thing i decided to to cut that part out of my life for now uh, and i'm not going to rehash all that here but like it's just you know we've been so busy with perfect team and then the other day you were like so we're gonna fire bullpen banter back up and just... was it the other day or i think you actually just like said something on twitter and i was <laughs> like all right i guess we're doing this and <laughs> yeah let's let's do it and, and, and you know by through the powers of the internet here we are episode 82 or whatever we're on we're just gonna kill it yeah. season four episode one let's not let you know what let's let's go down that road let's stop the episode counting we'll just it'll be quietly one. episode 82 technically 83 because we did that one from pax east that we called not bullpen banter was that the last one we did? No, we did like one or two after. Or maybe I did one or two after that. Yeah, I think the last one I was on was the PAX one that we did before we watched TakeOver. WrestleMania TakeOver. Which was unreal, by the way. All right, so I, th I want to say we've covered everything. I think that's all the preamble. Uh, yeah. Also, currently we don't have a set schedule. Uh, a couple things are gonna have to take into, we're going to have to take into account for that. First, we're going to have to check out their stream schedule uh, for the run-up to uh, MLB The Show so that we can do our follow-up streams uh, talking about what they talked about. Uh, so we'll need to get those dates first. Hopefully, we'll have that stream schedule from Sony San Diego in the next week or so, I would assume, uh, with their gameplay trailer coming out next week. Around that time is usually when that stuff starts to roll out. Um, and then during the season, I guess we'll have to see when they're going to do roster updates and you know, when new content's going to drop and stuff so that we can try to be on top of that and not be, oh, they released content on Monday and we're not recording until Saturday. So we're going to try to try to stay on top of those things much better yeah. this year. I, th I think it's pretty safe to say that we'll probably do an episode same time next week. Mm -hmm. I think the trailer I like comes out. On, I think Thursday night's good for us. Uh, the trailer, currently. the trailer comes out on Tuesday. So that would give us, you know, a couple of days to. So I, I can take seventy-five screenshots from a minute. And yeah, 30 so trailer. we can we can get screenshots and overanalyze the thing seven million times. Yeah. So I mean, we haven't officially discussed it, but I think we're probably going to have another episode next week. 
um for sure where we're going to break down the trailer and hopefully they hopefully i think historically they've revealed the trailer and then the stream schedule mm -hmm. um it is going to be broken down a lot but i mean really where is it going to be broken down best true probably this weekend it will be the show probably yeah. i'm confused <laughs> pause is that still a thing yeah, they're doing. He already he announced earlier today that they're doing an episode <laughs> after the trailer. But are they going to do it all year, or is it just that one? I, and he's going to do the rain delay. I don't know. The only is thing I chat? know that would be helpful. Listen, the only thing I know about Cooperstown Kurt is that he's unpredictable and he's never beaten me in MLB the Show ever. I also know he's very not good at home run derby. I'm just saying. Just saying. Coop has done a lot of things in this community. But the one thing he's never done is beat me. Or win a community home run derby. Or that either, yes. So, we gotta see. So there's multiple things he hasn't done. Yeah. Speaking of multiple things, there's multiple editions of MLB The Show 19. Look at that segue. Chris, we are back on track. It's like we it never left, so baby. Good. <laughs> it's like we never left. Uh, yeah, so multiple versions of MLB The Show. Obviously, standard edition, uh, $59.99. I don't even want to know what that is in Canadian because I saw seventy nine ninety nine. I saw that screenshot today of the was it the Gone Yard edition or no the Digital Deluxe edition in Canada. It was yeah, like the hundred and thirty. It's one hundred twenty nine ninety nine. It always it is every year. It's that price every year. Uh, yeah. So standard edition gets you the game. Uh, if you pre order, depending on where you pre order, I think you get like ten packs at GameStop uh, and maybe ten packs in. Uh, the PSN store. Put my PSN store and see. Uh, but also for just, would... for just the standard edition. Yeah. All right. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't show any pre-order bonuses on the PlayStation Store. Digital. You're you're lying. For the standard edition. Yeah, man. I'm looking at it right now. Digital pre-order details. Pre-order bonus gets the MLB The Show 18 Bryce Harper flashback card that we've seen for uh, quite a while. Uh, what else do you get? You get 10 standard packs, 5,000 stubs, and one gold choice, one gold player choice pack. But I would recommend not pre-ordering right now. I would definitely wait until, uh, after we see some of these streams and stuff, because again, especially the digital pre-orders, uh, cancellations and refunds are not available except where required by law. So yeah. I don't want you to get screwed <laughs> by... So or if you, like, win a giveaway, but you've already pre-ordered it digitally, you can't cancel that. I think we actually ran into that where I got a copy of some game for Chris, and he had already pre-ordered it. So, uh, ended up not giving it to him. He lost that. Uh, next up. Chris, uh, well, I guess we'll just ask you what version you're going to get when we're done with this. Uh, next up, MVP edition. Uh, gets you that dope steelbook case, right? Or is it even is it a steelbook case? Yeah, it is. Uh, so you get MLB The Show 19, the steelbook case. Uh, you choose one of 30 diamond flashbacks. Uh, prestige gear up choice pack, which God knows what that means. Uh, 6,000 subs, 10,000 standard packs, or 10,000. Imagine you got 10,000 standard packs. <laughs> That would, that'd be so insane. Yeah, I mean, what are you gonna do with the one diamond that you pull out of the ten thousand standard packs? Come on, Chris, let's let's go into this year. Clear eyes, full hearts. Woo! They Chris say. won. <sighs> Thirty custom avatars uh, and a classic stadium of your choice. I do want to check now that I have this open. I want to see. Get more. Next year. Stuff. So yeah, I'm just double checking what it says online uh, because I think the the images I have are for the in store versions. Technically, yeah. I just wanted yeah. to double check if there's anything. Okay, so we got the standard, we got the MVP. Then GameStop only Boo. has the Gone Yard edition. Oh, uh, M Boo. standard uh, MVP edition is seventy nine ninety or sixty nine ninety nine uh, in the U S. and I assume super expensive Canada. Yeah, yeah. You can add about twenty bucks or thirty bucks to the price. The MV say the MVP edition. Oh, I'm on the U.S. web store, so it doesn't play doesn't work out right now. 
We got a lot of Canadian but fans. I think I think it's eighty nine ninety nine uh, Canadian. I think it's sixty nine ninety or sorry seventy nine ninety nine eighty nine ninety nine one twenty nine ninety nine. Gotcha. Uh, Ganyard edition, only available in GameStop. Uh, exclusive New Era hat. I actually kind of like the hat, save for the mm. fact that it's a snapback. You know, I don't believe yeah. in that. Yeah, I know. So maybe in two years, if I find a random guy on Instagram that's selling hats, and he has one of these, I might just catch it in as like a as a throw in. <laughs> yeah. Uh, again, you get the steel book. Choice of one. Choice of uh, cho- choice. Choose one of thirty diamond flashbacks. Prestige gear up. Choice pack again. Uh, the digital diamond dynasty hat. Uh, so you can have your players wear it in the game. Is it fitted in the game? I oh, it's got to be. I never thought about that. It might be fitted it's, in the game. It's no, it is because when they had the when I think they do because when they had the standard MLB hat, it's like fullback. So it has to be a fitted in the game. I will. I would. I would immediately not me- buy MLB the show if my player ever wore a snapback in the game. That just makes me angrier. Yeah, also- I know. I would never buy it. It's funny because in NBA 2K they have snapbacks, and I, that idea. Of course they do, but I don't think they have fitteds. I need to double check. A uh, copy of the game, thirty custom avatars, fifteen thousand stubs, twenty standard packs, and a classic stadium. A good, a good purchase option. Chris, are you going to buy any of those options? Uh, well, I'm not buying the one with the hat uh-huh. for two reasons. First of all. I don't buy anything from EB Games, as it is still called in Canada. Oh, still up there? Uh, yeah, I don't buy much from there. And I have, the snapback has no interest to in me. I mean, here's the thing. I have not decided as of this moment in time which one I'm going to purchase because after last year's issues, I still don't know how much Diamond Dynasty I'm going to play. Let me tell you something, Chris. I'm- I'm going to play so much Diamond Dynasty that I am definitely going to buy the Digital Deluxe Edition. I probably will buy the Digital Deluxe Edition as well, just because I don't want to miss out. Um, You know, uh, like, that's the thing. I did the exact same thing last year. I didn't know what I was going to do last year. I ended up buying the Digital Deluxe. And you know what? I stopped playing Diamond Dynasty after three weeks because I got totally lost. But you had fun in the time. I had fun in the three weeks, yeah, sure, with the 97 pages of notes that I had to keep to try to figure out what <laughs> what missions and all, stuff I was All you had on, to do but... was get 10 doubles with Joe Torrey. It shouldn't have taken you three months. It did. Oh, wait, no, that was me. My bad. Uh, also, I was wrong. If you get off the digital store, no matter what version you get, you get 10 standard packs, 5,000 stubs, and yeah. a gold player choice pack on top of the rest of this stuff. Uh, so for Deluxe Digital Edition... Uh, you get a copy of MLB The Show 19, obviously. The Prestige Gear Up Choice Pack, which we still don't know what that means. I haven't known what that means for the last four slides. Uh, choose one in 30 diamond flashbacks. Ball in as a... Ooh, you get a ball in as a habit pack. Oh, baby. Now I'm excited. Let's go. That's that's going to be hot fire. 15,000 stubs, 30 standard packs, 30 custom avatars, and one, the classic stadium. Uh, yeah, digital deluxe. That's the way I'm going. Yeah, me too, probably. Uh, like, who I, Who am I kidding? I just haven't jumped in and done it yet. Uh, anything else? Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to do it, like, whatever day before we can preload. That's usually when I do it. Uh, assuming everything they say in the streams is good. Yep. I don't think there's anything they can really say to make me not buy it. I, that would be really, really bad if somehow they came out with those streams and it was. I got to the point where I was like, I am not buying this game. That would be a very weird and dark timeline, and... I don't even want to know what that looks like. I, yeah, I mean, here's the thing is it, the way I look at it now, 18 is in the rear view mirror. It's, you know, you're in my enjoyment of 18. It was certainly called into high level debate many, many times. Cause you know what? I didn't really enjoy the game. I was like um, almost in tears on a press row podcast about how much I did not like the game. But see, like for me, I don't know how much of it was the fact that I just wasn't enjoying games, period. Because after I stopped playing MLB The Show 18, I don't think I played a video game for two months. I dabbled, I dabbled in a little bit of Super Mega Baseball and I really enjoyed it. Uh, I you know, played a few games in my backlog. So like for me, like 
I don't know if it's so much that I didn't because I mean I well I didn't enjoy the show 18 for me as someone who is more of a casual Diamond Dynasty player because I like to spend a good amount of time playing franchise as well like I I just the grind was so overwhelming in the beginning mm-hmm. yeah, I'm like, telling I you, just want, getting, I just wanted to play the game getting those trying to get 10 doubles with Joe Torrey literally made me stop playing that game which I is saw- red- ridiculous <laughs> i try and you know what i went back and this uh, this was well documented on twitter in like november i went back and uh, october sorry in october i went back and started playing the game you know a couple hours a day grinding Offline, stuff right? out no no i Pretty was fun. playing i was right back into dd mm-hmm. um you know i streamed a couple of uh seasons runs mm-hmm. did pretty well was enjoy but the thing is it wasn't I just played with the team that I had. Yeah. You know, I did some of the future legend missions that they had or whatever the heck they're called in MLB the show. <laughs> now, see, this this could be the hard part, okay? Trying to keep the card series straight between Out of the Park and MLB the show. I believe they're future stars in Out of the Park. But like, No, the future I, legend I is in Out of the Park. Future stars in the show. Right. I think, yeah, sorry. I think they're future stars in MLB the show. Sorry. So I did a few of those because they were easy to do. Um, I think I ended up getting the George Brett, which was really easy. The immortal George Brett, who was the only immortal that I got. Oh, I didn't even get an immortal. Um, oh, but for me, I, like I was just enjoying the game for what it was. I wasn't trying to grind out and make my team better. I just said, "Hey, this is the team I have, and so let's play Let, and let's see what happens." And you know what? I enjoyed it, and I really did. And then Christmas came, and I moved on. And but so I am excited. I'm really excited. I do have a lot of questions going into these streams in regards to all the modes because I like to play all the modes. I like to play Road to the Show, Franchise, DD. So while I, it's a, almost a certain guarantee I'm going to buy this game, I still I need to see what improvements they're going to make for someone who myself who I would consider to be a little more of a casual user. Yeah, so I only, I'm pretty much reserved to just playing Diamond Dynasty now. And so, like, after I quit in May or June or whatever, and then I tried to go back later and play, I was like, all right, let me let me try to dedicate some time. I'm like, maybe it was me. Maybe I was crazy. Maybe I'm the only one popping up and hitting dribblers all the time. Maybe it's me. And then I was, I went on, I tried to play again, and I was like, I, I just don't have the heart to play it anymore or the passion to play it anymore and I was like I'm not going to dedicate the time to get good because maybe it was just I was bad and if I was just bad I would understand but I was just I just didn't have have that in me but I'm excited uh, for this year Pop. can I can I tell you something and this this is going to be maybe an extremely unpopular opinion I actually liked the way the gameplay in 18 played online, online. or offline Online, offline, it's a treat. Offline, it's amazing. And I seen, and and I know Buck's been playing some more franchise. And we were, and I seen Coop had posted a tweet about like a line drive single to left field that you don't see in online. Mm-hmm. You see that offline, yeah. But for me, one of the things I always enjoyed about MLB The Show was I always felt, um, that I was smarter than other players when it came to pitching. Mm-hmm. I felt like when I won games of MLB The Show, it's because I outpitched the other team. So with the way 18 was, I felt like I could outpitch every single guy that I played. Because when you realize that guys are just spamming stuff low in the zone, yes, you can't hit it. Eventually they make a mistake. But for me, I enjoyed the way it played to a certain extent, probably more so than the average user. Because I just I like pitching. I like a one nothing game. All right. So two things uh, we should touch on for uh, MLB right now. If you go on, there's a timed uh, January mission uh, to go in and get yourself a free ninety four overall Jackie Robinson. So you just go into the programs. Is there, a time, is there a time limit on the Jackie? Is it today only? I or... think you need to get it today, but I could be wrong. 
Does anybody know? Is there a time it, limit? Ju- it's just the January exactly? missions, so I guess you only have. Uh, so you tomorrow. only have till you only have till like two a.m. Eastern or whatever it is. Yeah, and on top of that, also uh, they do have the ability to copy your logos over, uh, your team logos into the vault, and it will go into MLB the Show nineteen. Uh, they put a blog post up about it on theshownation.com. Uh, on the main menu, scroll to the community tab, select vaults, logo vaults. Uh, while in the logo vault options, upload your full your file, and it'll be there in out of the in. Out of, it'll be there in MLB the Show 19. So if you want to do that, you have to do that by uh, February 1st. I don't know if that's by the end of February 1st or the start of February 1st. So I don't know if you have literally three hours from the minute we're recording this, or if you have all day tomorrow. I'm a huge fan of them doing that. Uh, I'm not going to take advantage of it because one of the things I enjoy doing is creating a new Diamond Dynasty logo every year. Mm-hmm. Not going to lie, I've had some pretty sick ones. The Extra Life one from MLB The Show 17, still one of my all-time faves. Um, but I'm, li- I'm literally going to do this while you're talking. It's cool. It's cool that they're doing it. Uh, but for me, like I said, I always enjoy going in. I, I treat every year as a different rebrand. So, But I could get. I, I understand definitely if you're a content creator, um, you know, and or you have like your sub badge or like your Twitch logo or whatever, like TJ does. I have the bullpen it's, Metro logo, it, actually. Yeah, it's it's definitely a, a cool thing to take advantage of to save yourself the trouble of uh, having to do all that again. I'm so now in MLB the show, you guys can download uh, bullpen banter. The bullpen banter. Do it up logo. I'm a no. big fan. Maybe I'll roll with that this year, and I'll yeah, just so change you, the colors. So you actually have to like go in and do that. That seems a fun logo. I guess it's a fun logo. So that's uploaded for next year. Uh, I've been seeing. I got mine made by uh, or I don't know what his name is. King of Hearts. King of King of Hearts. There's ones in there. Uh, but yeah, I think it's too late to get a new logo created. My only concern is that with this. Going in, I'm kind of worried that this is like, hey, we put in the logo transfer and nothing's really going to change with logos next year. That's my my one concern about that. Oh, that's an absolute for sure going to happen. Yeah, and I definitely don't think we're going to get the ability to upload logos either. So yeah, that that that's that's that to me. And again, I hate I hate comparing different franchises, but. 2K has had that in their games for years. 2K, you can, like, like NBA. Those, state, those and, whole stadiums look amazing. Yeah, but, like, just the fact that you can go into the WWE 2K app or the NBA 2K app and literally click three buttons and your picture's in the game, it is annoying that SDS doesn't have that. Does, I almost I mean, want to say NBA Live NHL, might also have it, too. I think NBA Live does. NHL does not. But NHL has, to be fair, NHL has a pretty sick suite of generic and historical logos to create your yeah, you don't. Um, expand, your your hockey franchise with. But still, again, I'm a little surprised that Sony hasn't made some sort of effort to get people to upload logos. Uh, yeah, you don't need created logos in NHL because you just use the Calgary Hitman logo. That's true facts. Or the old Vancouver Canucks flying skate logo. Or the Minnesota North Star- North Minnesota North Stars logo. I mean there's a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Uh yeah, and also it would definitely be a lot of uh, moderation, Apple said. Yeah, that that's a huge but I guess thing. I we mean... just put a report button on there and then you can leave it up to the people. Because I've seen some of the garbage that's in WWE. So I was gonna say, <laughs> is there any moderation in WWE or NBA other than people reporting it? I don't know. I feel like I I can't imagine they have someone sitting there moderating every logo that gets uploaded yeah. to their servers. It, it might surely be a... surely they go with a user report system. Yeah, that's probably what it is. All right, Chris, tell me yep. about uh, the leaked screenshots that came out yesterday. Is ago? Uh, I think it was like between like Tuesday and Wednesday, like Tuesday overnight into Wednesday. Um, so randomly MLB the show had, I think there was nine screenshots in total mm-hmm. um, uploaded to the um, PSN the regular page. store page, the regular PSN page, right? 
Yeah, it was just the regular PSN page. Um, now, unfortunately, I have not seen any other than the four that were posted yeah. in um, the Reddit that there was. Yeah. And I've got those four uh, up on the screen, or we'll I, flip through. I, yeah, I have to say, of the four of them, really only one of them got me extremely excited. Mm-hmm. And the other three just give me more questions. Yeah. Uh, so the first one we got here is, uh, it looks like you're just picking where your Road to the Show player is. Uh, where your Road to the Show player is from. Uh, so it's got a bunch of... Can be born at sea, Australia, Austria, Curaçao, France, Guam. So at least you get some better choices than just like East, West, Central, and uh, yeah, uh, what was it, international? So yeah, that's so. Nice. Uh, but I feel like can you actually pick? I haven't played Road to the Show in quite a while, so I kind of forget. Like, can you actually pick like what state you're from and stuff? I think so, right? Yeah, I think they have the states for the U.S. and then it's countries for everything. Yeah. So, I mean, this could literally be nothing other than a new graphic for that menu. It does give you that look of, like, Road to Glory from back in the NCAA football yeah. days, but it really could just be new graphics for this menu. So, Well, and, that's, and, and, and again, that's why I'm saying, for me, three of the four screenshots just lead to more questions. Is this just a, instead of you having the generic locker room shot on the screen all the time. Mm-hmm. You're going to have this screenshot of like your, your bedroom at spring training all the time. Or is this the part of something bigger again that it's their marketing, their marketing screenshots, right? Yeah. That's what they are. They're marketing screenshots. It's we could sit here and, and try to read the tea leaves all day. And we it don't even have cool. all the marketing screenshots. We just have these four that were actually that this guy got on and put up on Reddit. Yeah, and, and like I said, I, it, it looks cool. I like the idea behind it, but is it just something that's there and you see it for three seconds and then never ever again? Or is it the sign of something bigger, more RPG-based? You know? And I, I do want to give credit to... Uh, M-Y-T-H-O-F-D-O-B. I don't know if that's supposed to be some sort of word. Uh, but that's the Reddit user that. Uh... If I send you a link on Discord, it's not going to break the stream, right? Uh, it might because I'd have to go look at it. No, no, I, it, it's something. It's just for later. Sure. Okay. Just something I want you to look at after. I just didn't know if I sent it to you if it would like move things around or. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Oh, in- interesting topic for that discussion. Mm-hmm. Can't can't wait to read that link, folks. <laughs> uh, so yeah. This bedroom scene literally could just be the new way you set up your guy. Uh, next up, we got the... Do we have names? I guess this is like going to be the perk system, but they had a perk system last time, right? So this one, I find... This is the interesting one out of the mm-hmm. four. Yeah. Because again, like the, the archetypes was a thing last year. Basically, you pick the player archetype and, you know, you were... You know, your initial skills were based off the archetype that you picked and you you had caps and and certain things um, that, you know, were associated with whatever archetype you picked. The thing I like about the way this looks, and again, we're reading more into this than may possibly actually be there. But the way, like, I look at this, this to me is a lot more visual. It, it, it's, again, this to me, has the look of something more RPG based than what we had before. Hmm. Because again, you you think character skill trees, you think of RPG. You think of Skyrim or well, I mean I go to Skyrim first because it's my favorite. But that's what you think of. You think of okay, here's a visual path of where my character can go. So so you're gonna be a lightning rod. You're gonna be heart and soul. Or you're gonna be a maverick or hat oh, heart guy. I, I I mean, it's hard to say. But again, like you know, there's way much more information that we need on yeah. this. How is it gonna tie into your character? Is this gonna tie? Are these just perks? Are they gonna tie into attributes somehow? I mean, there's there's a lot of things 
that could come out of this. But it does it again visually to me it was the one screenshot that stuck out where i was like whoa okay this i can get behind i'll get behind it too uh next up we got it looks this uh, i assume this these screenshots are uh gonna be for the new franchise for franchise mode uh so when you go in you can select your teams now rather than just scrolling through the list of teams uh, you get kind of an idea where your franchise is kind of going to go. Uh, the teams are split up to favorites, contenders, underdogs, and long shots. So I, th- my uh, guess of this, if this is just franchise modes, how you're going to pick your team, and it gives people that don't have like a ton of knowledge about like real baseball kind of like an idea how their team's going to be, and if it's going to be hard to get your team into the playoffs in the mm-hmm. World Series. I don't know if you agree with that guess. No, I... Here, here, I want to say, and I and I feel like I uttered this exact same phrase last year when they introduced the phases aspect of franchise. Mm. It was geared towards the more casual franchise player because if you're a hardcore franchise player, you know what phase of the season you're in. Mm. You know when the trade deadline is. You know when you have to have the roster cut down. You know when the 40-man roster comes out. You know when the draft is. You don't need a phase on the screen to tell you that. So I was a fan of it. Don't get me wrong. I like streamlining things and making information that is relevant at the time, easy to find. So to me, this seems like an extension of lowering the barrier to entry for the franchise Mm. again you you, like you and i we're gonna do the research assuming you play franchise we're gonna do the relevant research we know we don't need the game to tell us who a long shot is who a rebuilder is who a like a top tier team is we don't need the game to tell us that the more casual user will find this screen very very helpful so Again, it's 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 taking those those tougher, not tougher, but those more in depth franchise elements, and it's it's simplifying it for the more casual person. Uh, and then uh, we essentially have what looks like two screens later after you decided on favorites and you picked your team as the AL East. Uh, you can pick the difficulty for your fran- for your franchise. Assume again, assuming these are uh, screenshots from franchise mode. Uh, and then there's rewards. So it says reward can only be redeemed online. A lot of people have been wondering if that means like, oh, franchise is tied to online stuff. It's like, but I think that's just how it is now where that stuff's in the marketplace and it's connected to stubs and everything's connected to stubs. So you kind of have to be online. Like, I don't know what happens if you play the show online or if you play the show offline in franchise mode, can you even use the sponsorships and stuff? Like, does that work? You can't. You obviously can't buy new sponsorships from the marketplace if you're offline. I just no, don't... you can. But I mean, you you set your your sponsorships like within like the the sponsorship menu, right? But you need to be online to get to your card binder to use them, right? To assign them. That's why I don't know what happens if you don't play online. That's why this this screen saying that they have to be redeemed online confuses me because all the sponsorships and stuff that have been part of the franchise in the past are part of the marketplace and stuff. So but see, but see last year, did they not have a set of franchise missions in diamond dynasty? I'm sure they did. I think they so. were like, they were like real introductory stuff, like go put someone on the trade block and yeah. whatever. And I think they gave you, like, nothing. I think they gave you some tickets maybe at the end or something. I don't think I actually finished it. But obviously, you had, <clears throat> oh, 17? I know at some point they did. Right, but you still... But you had to be online to redeem them because it was in Diamond Dynasty where you did the redemptions. Right, and you still you get could... them from packs. And you need to be yeah, connected to... Whatever reward to you got came in just like any other reward, came in just like any other set reward. Yeah, so I don't know... Maybe you'll get better sponsorships now for winning that stuff, but yeah, I'm I'm just kind of confused. Yeah, it's one of those things they're going to have to elaborate on. Is this something new, or is this just a different way to display something that they've had before? Right. Yeah. 
Check marks. Check marks on my rundown page. We're flying through stuff. Look at this. I printed it out. I'm like a real professional. Uh, the only problem is we don't really have a good thing for when we're talking about stuff that's multi-game. So we're just going to put up the the big bullpen banter logo. You can see that sports gamer and co yeah. over there. Uh, hi, 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 I'm Co. Not to be confused with Co Carnage. Co Carnage. I'm, 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 and Co. Okay. Uh, something that was brought up in uh, the Discord, that sportsgamer.com slash community, uh, if you want to join that. Uh, theoretical teams to use in franchise. Uh, I wanted to kind of talk about this a little bit in MLB The Show as well as uh, in Out of the Park Baseball uh, for next year. Uh, Kind of just get get a feel of like what teams you're thinking about. Has there been any signings this off season? Granted, we still don't know where uh, Harper and Machado are going. But has there been any signings that this year that make you want to like lean towards one team or another in a certain game, and why? Not really. Um, like I have a short list of about five teams. For me, I don't think I don't differentiate between. MLB the show and out of the park, like too much. Like obviously with, with MLB the show, there's a, that, that little requirement of you, you want, like you want some guys that are a little more exciting on the field. Like OTP really doesn't have that, that element, but like for me, I, I still pull from one list. Um, I like to stick typically with a team that's like a middle of the road. Um, although I ended up picking do, the do you want me to pull up that screen. So you know what middle of the road what teams are in the middle of the road? Or no, I don't need. Good. I don't need the screen to tell me what. I mean, there's still a lot of action left. I mean, yet. I can bring it up. Let me just. We can go back. But I mean, like in, in out of the park, I went with the Brewers last year, and look how that turned out. They, you know, put on a wonderful, wonderful run in the playoffs. I mean, all they needed, they were really only missing Trent. Don't call me Rich Grisham. They were one that he would have put them over the top. Uh, are you going to be doing a? I. This is a. Technically an offline question. Are you going to be doing a Out of the Park 20 franchise on uh, the OTP Developments Twitch? I don't. I mean, we still have to figure that out if it's going to be. I would like to. Or time you're just, or time you're just going to do one on your own if you want. I'm at, at a bare minimum, I'm going to do one on my own, like starting in 20, 2019. And, you know, same as I did with the Brewers franchise starting in 2019 and just going until, you know, the wheels fall off. Um, whether that ends up being on stream or not, I think we have some things to discuss there in terms of time commitments and perfect team related stuff. So I would really like to, I think the Brewers franchise that we, that I did last year was, was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing it. We finally won a world series in the end. Um, so whether that materializes or not is more of a, you know, an organizational type of thing, but you know, uh, like I said, for me, the franchise at this point, there are still some moves that could be made that might take teams out of the running. I don't think there's any moves left that could be made where I'd be like, I'm picking them. But I think... What if the Phillies Harper, sign Machado and Harper right now? Then they would be not a consideration for a team I would pick. Not that they're on my short list to begin with. Um, I'm not a huge Phillies fan because i don't typically enjoy playing in um citizens bank park true that's a tough park to hit in right <clears throat> it's not yeah, just I me it, no it's not bad it, it is kind of homer friendly but the center field is a little weird i, I don't i, I can't, I don't I can't hit, pick up the batter's eye i don't enjoy the batter's eye there at all um so for me like at this point the free agency moves would just take teams out of contention they wouldn't add teams I mean, a big prospect-related trade could get me to um, get me to jump in. The one thing I'm having an, uh, an issue with, and uh, this may be where the out of the park comes in. Trips is reading my mind, by the way. PNC is my favorite park to play in MLB The Show. Um, Beautiful park. I usually have a rule with franchises that I do not pick my favorite team. Mm-hmm. I but I feel... What would you do if I told you? I may have just written down your favorite team right there, which you can't I... see because it's too white. No, but uh, here's the thing. For I may have to break that rule. And I feel like if I was going to break that rule, I'd probably do it with Out of the Park. Um, but the Blue Jays are an extremely interesting team 
to start a franchise with. Um, you know, you still have some good young pitchers that you could try to do something with, with Stroman and Sanchez. Um, you you still have some, you know, obviously you have Vlad Jr. Um, you know, assuming that you're going to use either out of the park or assuming that you're going to use a roster set for MLB The Show that'll have Vlad Guerrero Jr., that'll have Bo Bichette. Um, the Jays, extremely, extremely interesting franchise team for someone who is looking for something like a challenge, but still have that that prospect depth, kind of like the Padres. The Padres are in the same boat, right? Yeah. The Rays, too. They're really bad right now, but if you can survive that first year or two with some of those really high potential prospects, it could be you could have a lot of fun with it. So I, I may have to break my house rule that I don't pick the Jays for franchises. Yeah, I think uh, for me, if I'm going to play a franchise in MLB The Show, uh, either what I'm probably going to want to do is either just a fantasy draft, because I like that. That's always a good option. Yeah. Uh, or again, like you said, you're going to want some some big name boppers that you're going to go out there and have a lot of fun playing with. Currently, uh, I'm thinking about the Nationals. I think the Nationals would be a lot of fun uh, to play, especially they got that crazy pitching staff. Yeah, uh, you can have Soto. They've, they've, Soto's, got, so, uh, they've got Soto. Yeah, got Trey Turner doing his craziness. Victor uh, Robles is kicking around there. Yeah, uh, so I think that's that's an option I might go with MLB. I do like the Blue Jays. I would have to get a roster uh, that would have uh, Vlad Jr. and Bichette, and just put them up. Uh, I think yeah. for out of the park, I would go with something that's a little bit more toward the underdog long shot range, just because I I'm gonna be. I'm going to play an out-of-the-park franchise a lot longer, a lot longer in year-wise than I would in MLB The Show. Like, in the show, I'd probably only go, like, a couple of years. But in yeah. out-of-the-park, I'm going to go, you know, 15. I might go 10, 15, 20 years, see what happens. Uh, so for there, I'm kind of thinking, like, D-backs are in an interesting spot. Indians are in an interesting spot. They have some, They have some good pieces, but some guys are getting old. They have young guys that you're going to have to pay. Uh, that could be e- interesting. I put Padres down on the list, uh, much like the hat that I'm wearing. Uh, uh, my concern there is if I do it on the Out of the Park stream, I played as them last year in Out of the Park 18. Uh, and I was the Angels right. in 19, so I don't really want to be those teams again for that stream. Uh, also, the Cardinals seem kind of interesting. Uh, they have Goldschmidt, I think, for this season, then he becomes a free agent. Not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, chat. What's uh, that? Gold? What was that? Sorry? Goldschmidt's just got a year left, right? I think it's just a year, yeah. yeah. I'm going to have to try to figure out what to do with that. So I, I feel like I would take an underdog or a long shot more and out of the park just because yeah. I'm going to get deeper into the nitty gritty of that and want to have, you know, past just AAA and AA. Get yeah. all that extra stuff and more options with the trades and they're yeah. paying the money and their stuff just because I, I think I would want more of a challenge from the GM side of doing a franchise uh, when I'm going into out of the park, then. Well, and that's, and that's the differences in the games, right? Like in MLB, the show, you look at more than your team. You look at what division you're in. Mm-hmm. So like for, like for me, uh, I see trips mentioned earlier. Like I love PNC park. PNC park to me is, is amazing. It's one of the best stadiums that MLB, the show has. Um, but I don't like playing in St. Louis. I don't like playing in Chicago. Um, like I, I just don't enjoy those playing in that division. And you hate the jerseys. And that's and that's and I'm not a big fan of the Pirates jerseys. So like there's more like again with with the MLB the show, if you're going to play multiple seasons of the franchise, you consider the visual parts. You consider I'm gonna have to play like again, it's the same reason why I don't pick an AL West team. Because I don't want to play in the dump in Oakland. Yeah, I don't like playing I don't like playing at eight. I don't like playing at Angel Stadium. Um, like it's just it, again, there's those you don't have those considerations in out of the park. Out of the park, it's you know you're looking more at the, the managerial the side, yeah. the structure of it, the minor leagues, because you know. It, so they're different considerations. You can consider the same team, but you're going to consider them for different reasons. I just added the Brewers to my. Yeah, I'm not I'm, obviously. I'm going to avoid the Brewers. Because of last year. Yeah. And I'm going to be doing uh, two out of the like, park franchises. So 
uh, one on my channel here, twitch.tv slash gamer, and then one on the OOTP Developments channel. So it's going to be interesting. We're going to have a lot of teams to do. That's why I don't know if I'm even going to do a, uh, an MLB The Show franchise, because it's like I'm already going to be running two franchises and playing Diamond Dynasty and maybe playing Road to the Show. It's like I don't know if I'm going to have enough time for another franchise. So we'll yeah. see there. Uh, anything else in your mind, franchise-wise? No. Play? I mean, we'll, we'll probably talk more about like the ins and outs of it when the stream comes around. Obviously, I have a long wish list of improvements I'd like to see, most of which I feel may not may get neglected. But I'm look I'm looking forward to jumping back in. I think that the MLB The Show franchise experience is one that gets way more negativity than it deserves. Yeah. Um, but there is definitely some things they need to address. So hopefully, um. Hopefully they add some 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 new things that, like I always say, my biggest thing is give me different ways to manage my team. So, like, again, you know, when they added things like critical situations and stuff. Um, but, yeah, I'm sure we'll talk more about uh, more about franchise when we get to that segment of the spring. It would kind of be cool if that redeem online thing was because online franchise is coming back. I don't want to get excited. Because I assume not, it's not. <laughs> not, not so, let's, happening. Uh, you cannot I... kill. You cannot kill online franchise and cheer. You can't. You can't because of the because then it looks like they only brought it back because everyone could. Yeah, if you're good, and then and then you know what's gonna happen. They bring it back and it sucks. Yeah, and that and that would same. be the absolute. And that's the thing. If you bring it back and it's the same, guess what? Online franchise sucked. It, it was it problem, did not. Oh, yeah, it had it lots of did not. It did not work good. One problem so was connectivity, had, but then it also had a lot of other problems. I yeah. always try. I always forget about that part that there was a lot of other problems with the mode than just the connections. Um, so if they bring online franchise back and it sucks, that's worse than them taking it out in the first place. I was thinking I could see Bryce Harper signing somewhere, swaying me to maybe be that team in the show. Yeah. Manny Machado would definitely have no bearing. Actually, if Manny Machado was on the team in the show, I probably wouldn't use them in franchise just because I did not have any luck hitting with him last year. But again, if gameplay is going to change, maybe he's going to be more effective. That's just going to happen. Time will tell. Uh, last topic for tonight. We talked about MLB The Show. We've talked about Out of the Park Baseball. And we are definitely going to talk about the return of Pro Baseball Spirits uh, April 25th. 2019, uh, Pro Yucky Spirits will be back on the PlayStation 4 console. Actually, not, not back on the PlayStation 4 console. It will be on the PlayStation 4 console for the first time in history. Uh, I believe the last year they put out a game was 15? That can't be true, because I think I have 15. No, 15 must have been the last year. The last year I have 13. Uh, so I think last year was 15. They had it out. Uh, 19's coming out. going to be on PS4 and Vita. People are still making Vita games. Konami, who literally doesn't make video games anymore other than Pro Evo, is making not only a baseball game, they're also making a Vita game. Kind of mind-boggling when you think about it. It is. It really is. Uh, if you've never played uh, Pro Yaku Spirits, a.k.a. Pro Baseball Spirits, uh, it's really, really, really good. Uh, that comes from someone who actually can't read anything in the game. I can only play Homer and Derby and Exhibition, and that was kind of having to use uh, spiritstranslations.com uh, to get through those menus and stuff. Uh, but the game looks great. They've rescanned everybody. They, I think they've got facial scans for everybody in the league, which is kind of insane. Uh, granted, I think there's only 12 teams in the league. Uh... But the game's looking great. I think on if you go to playasia.com, P L A Y A S I A dot com, you can pick it up for eighty one ninety nine, which in Canada is probably like a hundred thousand dollars or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it's about six k. Uh, oh, taxes before man. I was gonna say you should pre order it and I'll bring it over, but uh, a couple players that will be in the game: uh, Jabari Blash, obviously, uh, with the Golden Eagles. Uh, Dice uh -huh, K, my man. Dice K, still pitching. Uh, he's with the Chinichi Dragons. Uh, I saw today Koji Uihara, everybody's favorite player in MLB The Show. 
Uh, he's with the Giants. Uh, they put out a couple screenshots. Everything looks good. Still looks like uh, the old menus and stuff from last year. I love their PCI. Best PCI in baseball games. Uh, so excited. This when I saw. Yeah, this, I think I think you've you've been trying to get me to buy this game for years. One two, please. And you know what? But honestly, I really do. Um, I really do think it's something I'd like to try. I really feel like, you know, it, it, it's different. It's, I was apprehensive when Super Mega Baseball 2 came out because I didn't play the first one. Mm. And I said, you know what? I said, I'm going to give it a try. I said, it's it's a bit of a different game. Uh, I, try, I reached out to try to get it for free. It didn't happen. So I bought it. Why not, right? I loved it. It was an amazing game. It was not anything like you would expect. So, you know, I don't know much about the KBO or nope, that's not the KBO. Japan. It's it's the Nippon Professional League, sorry. I always get those two mixed up. I know that's terrible of me, but only messing up messing up two different countries. I know. I know that happens. Uh yeah, actually that is the one thing that I don't love that it's only I think it's only is it 12 or 10 teams? I think it's 12 teams. Uh I do kind of wish they would get like the KBO in their license. That would be kind of sick if they had both leagues. Maybe even China. I feel like I feel like the KBO and uh, uh, JPB leagues. I don't think they have many rule changes that are different, and I feel like their skill levels pretty comparable. So if they could somehow put them both in a game, I think that would be uh, pretty amazing. Um, yeah, April twenty fifth or April April twenty fifth. Uh, I'm pretty excited. I want to get it. I want to play it. Again, problem is. I don't speak Japanese. I don't speak Japanese. I don't read Japanese. So I'm going to rely on spiritstranslations.com. Hopefully they will come out with new translation guides. They go through, they take screenshots of all like the menus and stuff, and they will type in like what the real thing actually says in English so that you know what it is. Uh, or you can use the Google Translate app on your phone uh, with the camera. Now you can just like hold your phone up to an image that's in a different language and it'll just translate it as best it can is going to be handy. So I'm going to I'm going to try that too. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to stream uh some of PYS 2013, but I realized I don't know where my splitter is anymore. Ah. Uh, pull out the HDCP. Yeah. Even still now, I don't know where it is. Uh, if I can find it one of these days, I will uh I'll stream some 13. But again, all I can really play is Exhibition and Home Run Derby which they have a cooler home run derby than us. I think for every home run doesn't, or they only get like 10 outs. They get 10 outs, but every home run, they get an extra out. I don't remember what it is. It's something crazy. It's good. Uh, but I have, there's videos on my YouTube channel, actually. If you... uh, but yeah, so we talked about the show. We talked about Out of the Park. We talked about PYS. We talked about the, I think maybe it's a Super Nintendo game with Ichiro on the cover. I need to figure that out. Some Rusty's Real Deal Baseball we'll talk about it sometime this year, maybe. Oh, Chris. How you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm I'm glad. Glad we uh glad we're back on the train here. I feel like that was a, a very good episode of Bullpen Matter. There there is, listen, the thing is is that, you know we took our we took our lumps. Twenty twenty eighteen was a rough year. It was a year. It certainly was a year. It was, listen, it was one of those things that. I didn't think I'd ever see it. You know, it's funny. It's so <laughs> as, as we were doing this episode, I actually went, you know, how PlayStation has that thing you can go to where you can see how many hours you played in 2018 mm -hmm. year in review. So MLB, the show, surprisingly enough, was my number one played PlayStation game last year. No, really? Which one? With with a hundred and seven hours, is that the which catch? is a, which, which is not a lot. Which uh for eighteen or for seventeen? For eighteen, so like MLB The Show eighteen was my most played PlayStation game, narrowly beating out Madden. Mm. And but you know what? It's just again, it was so it was so up and down and up and down. And I think for me, it was nice to just get away from the game. And 
I don't want this to be received the wrong way, but it was nice to get away from the community a little bit too, mm. because I feel like, and again, I'm, I'm sure we talked about this last year in the few episodes that we did in how over the last, let's say three years, since we've started doing bullpen banter, let's say that the community has started growing in terms of negative voices. Mm. Um, so I think it was nice to get away from a lot of that and just play other games. And, you know, it, it was again, to, to sink ourselves, you know, full bore into OOTP and, and do the things that we've done there. But I think it was, it was time for us to it was go a good back way to, hit the reset to button. yes. It, Cause now we're coming into this with, okay, this is why it didn't work. This is why we didn't enjoy the game. Let's make sure that we expand and talk about other stuff so that when we have a week where one of us absolutely hates MLB the show, which is going to happen because it's a, it, when you're on a Tony Gwynn's trash, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be but, loud. <laughs> but the thing is, again, you know, when you get on a, a eighth month grind of playing a game, some weeks you're going to hate it. <laughs> That's an so the fact that we can you know that we're going to be able now to to focus on other stuff to talk about OTP to talk about PYS to talk about uh, you know Super Mega Baseball talk about just talk about baseball in general. we talk about base wars we could talk about base wars yeah. we could spend an entire episode talking about hats we like, can can we go right now old school no, Padres throwback no, what's up no I mean I'm wearing this wonderful. Tampa Bay Rays Cooperstown collection, uh, which at the time I think was a Lids exclusive, but it's not anymore. Hey, do you know what I noticed not too long ago? Mm. Cooperstown collection hats, if you look at the MLB logo on it, it has like the flat top hat. It's amazing. I only lo- I only noticed this not too long ago. Yeah, interesting. Look at that. Amazing, right? I love it. Yeah. Uh, do they still make the Cooperstown collection or have they moved on? They must, because I just got this hat not too long ago. See this one here is like this one here. I have I've had for probably eight years. Really? Does it have? Yeah. But it has. No oh, wait. I'm trying to look at your hat the right way. This. But you have the this, new era logo on the side, which is not an old thing. Yeah, it is. Cooper Sound. The Cooper Sound oh, collections yeah, always. Cooper Sound collections always had the new era. The only one didn't have the new era on the side was the ACs. ACs was the only new era collection that did not have the flag on the side. Because See, they did, and and now. And now, and now they all do because now MLB has the new flag on the side. That's why you bought this from Hat Club because they got the colors that match. They match the flag to that color. I'm trying to see if they have a if I have a year anywhere on these hats. But uh, it, I mean, we're talk, we're rocking. I, I I guarantee this hat is probably at like the newest 2011. Question: Do I just try to get the Hat Club community manager on? I mean, if he if he could hook me up with some free hats, or at least like a shipping discount code, like come on, Hat Club, like listen, 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 Hat Club. Here's my pitch, okay? I worked at Lids for four years, and I don't like and I don't like buying things from there because they don't have the hats I want, and the hat they don't have the sizes that I want. I like Hat Club stuff, (laughs) but I live in Canada, so if you guys could set me up. Just I don't I don't need a big discount code. Just give me some free shipping from time to time internationally, and I'll buy hats. Why don't you just go and set yourself up as an affiliate, and then you can tell people to go to thatsportsgamer.com slash hat club, all your hats through there, and uh, then you get a little kickback, and then you can go buy more hats. Did you hear this guy? Pretty genius. The good scam I got going on here. Yeah, that's what gamer.com slash hat club. Check it out. It's good. I'll set up an affiliate account and then refer people to your affiliate account. That's why no one buys crap on my Amazon. Oh, yeah, I know. That's what gamer.com slash Amazon. <laughs> hey, Amazon affiliates, not going to lie, paid for this PlayStation. Did pretty good. People bought their PlayStations through my thing, and then I bought my PlayStation. It worked this out is well. The point, this is the point of bullpen banners where it just goes completely off. The this list. is the best part of bullpen banter, some would say. I know. This is... This is like this is like the after dark part, but we're still live with the regular main show. True. I mean, you know what? But the thing is, at the same time, we've talked about pretty much everything we need to talk about. Next week, we'll be back with a full 
trailer debrief then after that we'll be into streams oh man we're right back we are right back on the horse i even have out of the park news coming out soon i would guess <sighs> there's a pys cover vote that i would tell everybody about but i don't understand it because i can't read the website <laughs> i just know dice game might get on the cover so all right thank you guys for watching really do appreciate it chris where can people find you on the internet uh everywhere at snaggle j uh branded because hashtag branding twitter youtube facebook don't don't go on facebook facebook's dumb uh instagram all snaggle j i'm really trying to up my ig game my ig game uh right now is if you want like that more like the more personal side of me like not you know the big brash snaggle j type guy i'm really working on my ig game so hit me up with an ig follow that's that. that's my play uh you can follow me also on... hey, also wait hang on hang on just real quick because all i know right, you're gonna me. you're gonna do a real good spiel are you gonna tell me about that website that's blocked at most at most fine businesses <laughs> <laughs> no i'm not gonna talk about i'm not gonna talk about snaggle.club um but streams are coming back to twitch.tv slash snaggle j the hiatus is almost over i've got a huge idea cooking we're gonna start small okay i'm gonna start streaming on my personal channel one day a week here in the, in, in the next little while but it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm 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 really looking forward to uh, getting back in there with all my snagaholics. And uh... okay, now do your thing. All right, you can follow me everywhere. That sports gamer, like he said, gotta push those IG numbers up. Smash that follow button over there, because I found out the more people you follow, the more ads you're gonna get. It so unfollow everybody else you follow currently. Just follow me and Chris. Timeline will be a lot better. Uh, but yeah, bullpen mentor will probably be back Thursday next Thursday. After the trailer drops, probably. Uh, so make sure you're following us on Twitter again so that you know uh, when we're doing stuff. Also, thatsportsgamer.com slash community uh, has the Discord and everything dedicated to bullpen banter, uh, as well as other rooms to chat about stuff. I might even link to Chris's... Uh... Uh, but yeah, I think we're good. Chris, you good? I am, you know what? Better than good. You know what that means? Time for you to get out of the bullpen, get into the game. Take it easy, folks.